Welcome to another edition of the Mizzou Minute. I'm Todd Palmer, beat writer for the Kansas City Star, coming to you today from Williams Bryce Stadium in the other Columbia, Columbia, South Carolina, where Missouri lost 31 21 today against the Gamecocks. And unlike last week when Missouri lost 35 21 against Kentucky, this game was actually uh, fairly close. You know, in the fourth quarter, it, it was hard to believe that Missouri was going to win because they were down by a touchdown and then 10 points. And, and the idea that they would not only score to tie, but then take the lead um, seemed a little far-fetched, to be quite honest. Um, but still, competitive. I mean, it was it was 7-7, 14-14, and then 21-21. So Missouri played right with South Carolina for a big chunk of the game. So that's encouraging, okay? I mean... Missouri came on the road to a tough place to play. There were seven sandstorms today um, with the white towels waving and and the homecoming crowd of 73,817 going crazy. You know, I mean, a crowd that was throwing debris at players from the student section in the north end zone. Uh, It was a tough atmosphere, and Missouri acquitted itself fine. The defense, I think, played better. Um, It certainly played better than it did against Kentucky. Um, and better than it had under the old system. Uh, you know, Charles Harris, for one, had eight tackles and two sacks, um, you know, and he is the guy who struggled the most probably um, in the old system, the read and react system. So, um, you know, it was good to see Charles Harris have a big game. Missouri's uh, linebacking core, which is already thin without uh, seniors Michael Shear and Donovan Newsom. Newsom was only able to go one series today with the strained left quad. Got even thinner when Kale Garrett uh, was ejected for targeting on the first series. But, you know, look, Eric Beisel and Brandon Lee combined for 25 tackles. But before we declare that this defense is fixed, let's understand that South Carolina hadn't scored more than 30 points in an SEC game in two years, and they scored 31 today. Uh, And they hadn't had more than 400 yards of offense all season. They topped out at 395 yards of total offense against UMass, by the way, and then went for 428 today uh, with freshman quarterback Jake Bentley completing 22 of 28 passes for 254 yards and a couple touchdowns. Missouri didn't create any turnovers uh, on defense. So, look, it was it was an encouraging performance in some ways, but it's still another loss. It's the 11th straight conference loss Missouri suffered. Um, it's the fifth straight loss overall. Um, you know, Missouri's only lost 12 straight games uh, one other time in its history in conference. That was under Frank Caridio in the early 30s when they lost the last two games of the 1932 season and then went 0-5 in both 1933 and 1934 in, wait for it, the Big Six Conference. So, Kind of historically inept run of conference play right now. Uh, I know critics are going to say, see, we told you Missouri couldn't hack it in this league. Um, It's hard to make an argument that that's not true at the moment, but you can always point to the uh, back-to-back SEC East Division titles in 2013 and 2014 uh, for people who want proof that Missouri can't hang in this conference. Overall today, look, I mean, Drew Locke threw a couple interceptions, one which is, was in garbage time with Missouri down 10. And, uh, you know, he sailed the pass, throwing back across his body over the middle with 29 seconds left. These things happen in desperation times. The other one, though, was pretty critical. Um, he had a wide open receiver on the other side, but he read the play wrong, uh, went to the boundary side, threw a deep ball uh, to Demetrios Mason that was undercut because it was underthrown a little bit and picked off. The game was tied 21-21 then. Missouri looked like it was going in for a potential game-winning score. And then instead, South Carolina marched 98 yards on nine plays and never gave up the lead again after going up 28-21. So uh, another tough day for Tigers fans, um, but reasons to be a little bit more encouraged. Um, And look, we'll see if they can hang with Vanderbilt next weekend. Vanderbilt's got a very, very, very good defense. Um... And Missouri's defense has been a little bit leaky. Uh, Vanderbilt doesn't do a whole lot on offense. So there's the potential for a low-scoring game there. And anytime you've got a low-scoring game, um, you know, I think that favors the home team a little bit. Um, So we'll see. Maybe Missouri can end this 11-game skid and get back in the win column. 
um, before this season's over. And the next opportunity is at 2.30 next Saturday against Vanderbilt. Uh, you can read uh, about this team as we get ready uh, for that game at KansasCity.com. And be sure to follow me on Twitter at Todd Palmer. Thank you.